DS4 Windows now has haptic feedback capabilities for the PS5 DualSense controller. Does this mean we could be seeing adaptive triggers come to PC soon? Well, maybe, but in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to activate the haptic feedback feature on DS4 Windows and use it in games. So here we are on DS4 Windows, it is really easy to set this up. As you can see I have my DualSense controller connected and all you want to do is go ahead and click on profiles. Click on your preferred profile or one you've set up or just the default one. I use the default one so I will double click on that and you'll see it'll open up this page. And then here where you see the axis config, just want to go ahead and scroll down until you see L2 and R2. So once you have seen this, right down at the bottom you will see trigger effects. So if you go ahead and turn on one, it will turn on full click, click apply. That will now be applied to our controller. I don't know if you can hear that in the mic, but that is a click. And then we can change it to rigid, rigid, sorry. <laughs> and again, that makes it a bit more stiff. That's on the left side of the controller. Of course, you can put it on both sides. So we'll put rigid on both sides. And now I know you can't really make it out on the camera because you can't tell how hard I am pushing down on this, but it makes it a lot more stiff than it would be if it was just the normal triggers. Uh, we also have pulse on here. So we'll put them both on pulse, click apply. And so now the pulse one, I do like it, but it feels a little bit different to the pulse effects that I'm used to. Most of the pulse effects that I've used in the past for different haptic feedback softwares is where it pushes back your finger like that, kind of like you're shooting a gun. Whereas this one, it feels like it feels like it's got a click to it before you push it down. So you have to put some pressure to get it moving. And then it does that each time you press it down, which actually feels nice. It's just not what I'm used to. I don't know if you can hear that as well. You can hear the motors in there working. But that is the only options they have at the moment. I have seen this where it says two stage mode where you can put hair triggers and stuff like that on. I have tried to activate it. It doesn't really work for me. I don't know if there's something I'm doing wrong there. Um, maybe I just don't understand the settings. If you guys do, you can let me know. But this is what they have for now. I reckon without a doubt, they'll be bringing more trigger effects. I mean, it only makes sense since they have the feature built in um, to DS4 Windows now. It is pretty simple to just go ahead and slap in some more effects. So the reason why I think this takes us one step closer to PC getting adaptive feedback software that is similar to the one that runs on the PS5 is because so many apps are starting to come out with the haptic feedback software. Uh, ones like DualSense X that have got tons of different options to change the triggers to exactly how you want them. I believe it's only a matter of time, especially now that DS4 Windows, such a prominent name in the controller emulation um, industry or whatever you want to call it, has gone ahead and put the haptic feedback stuff into their app as well. In my opinion, I think it's only a matter of time before someone develops an app that can actually read the game you're playing and select the triggers for you. And depending on what weapon you're using or what car you're driving, I just reckon someone's going to do it soon. Of course, that takes a lot of smarts, smarts, which I definitely do not have, but you can be sure if that ever does happen, I'll be the first one to be making a video about it. So if you guys did enjoy this video, then don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications because I upload videos just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.